are my Godzilla fans? This is your boy Brian Godzilla fan nineteen fifty four here, and we are back with another video. Um, so this right here is a new movie monster series figure that they announced. Um, uh, excuse me, I believe yesterday. And I I am gonna put a spoiler warning like in the beginning of this video, so you guys are gonna see that before you guys even see this. But I wanted to talk about this and everything because. I'm not saying I don't like spoilers, but I like announcing stuff that's new and it looks interesting. So this is technically kind of a spoiler. And I have read a couple like um kind of um reviews and everything about the movie. I heard that it's like pretty good um and everything like that, but I'm not gonna talk about that because I am gonna be seeing it on December the first. Um which is today is the fourteenth, so in about a couple weeks from now, so uh, I'm really excited to go see that. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about this. So, as you guys may know, we do have, I believe we have four or five different Minus One Godzilla Movie Monster Series figures. And I know we have a couple, we have a either Gashapon minifigure, we have a Bam Presto, um, what is it called, Solvix one? We have a SH Monster one, SH Monster one coming soon, and then we have four or five movie Monster series one. We have the regular one, the King Kaiju one, which is kind of the one that's about like it's a little bit bigger, it's about eight inches tall, and the tail is going up. Um, we have a blue atomic blue version of that. We have the metallic version, and then we have a movie theater blue version too as well. And then we also got this one right here, which from what I've seen and heard about, um, this is also from going to be the minus one, but it's a little different too. So I don't think, from what I heard, I do not think there's going to be a second Godzilla. Um, but from what I've seen about this figure, this guy right here, this guy, um, if I can find the name for it, it's a... Movie Monster Series Godzilla minus one figure. Because, you know, it kind of looks like Godzilla Saurus, really. And kind of a little bit of Zilla um, in there, too. And to be honest, when I first looked at it, it kind of looked a little different. Um, at first, I thought maybe this is the mutation where it goes. He turns into the minus one Godzilla, the one that we've seen, like, in the trailer and everything like that. But this would be like his beginning stage, like um, like how Shin and Godzilla Ultima have different stages until they evolve into their final form, something like that. But I could be wrong, and this could just be either a prequel transformation to how Godzilla or how he does look, or this could be a completely new and different um other Godzilla. But those are just my two guesses, and from what I've uh seen and heard of. So yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, the figure looks okay. I mean, nothing too bad about it. I mean, movie monster series figures, they've been okay the past, um, couple, um, I'd say years? Um, nothing really too much to, um, talk about right there, but, uh, apparently this one is called Monster A. Now, I don't know why they called it that, but apparently that's what it's, that's what it's called. Um, and the other one is called Monster B, which is Godzilla minus one. Hmm. And yeah, really not that much to say about this. Um, really nothing else I can really say about it. Um, I know it does come out sometime in November, and that it apparently it's the 15 me I guess meter version and it's 1945 uh because I don't know what, what uh place this takes in because if this takes place um in 1945 then this would kind of make sense because in the original 1954 Godzilla movie that first Godzilla that ever uh came up from the ocean died and then the second one came up in 1955, and that, that's the one that fought Angus. So, I'm not quite sure if they're doing it like that. Because if that makes sense, then 
that would go with the storyline because whether or not whether or not because I was actually thinking about this yesterday, whether or not um the movie timelines for the MonsterVerse or the Toho, even though they don't, because that's MonsterVerse is made by America and Toho's made from Japan and all that. Whether even though that they're not put in the same timeline or same universe or whatever, they can still put it together into where it would work out. Because if you put in minus one, and let's just say there is two Godzillas, right? I doubt either one of them would die because Godzilla does have regeneration. He's had it throughout all of his movies. He, he'll get injured, but at the end of the day, he'll heal back. So um, let's just say, for example, those two Godzillas, this one and the other one, that one could have evolved into the 1954 one, this minus one Godzilla, and then died by the oxygen store. And then the second one right here, if there is a second one, could have been the second one that rose up in 1955 and fought Angus. See, because w whether or not minus one is with, even though it's made by Toho and all that, even if it's not with this timeline from all the Toho movies from 1954 to 2004 or 5, it's still could make sense if they all did together. And it's just the same thing with the MonsterVerse. Even though the MonsterVerse has nothing to do with any of these Toho movies, um, even though they use characters from the Toho Godzilla movies, it still makes sense because in the last Godzilla Toho movie, which was Final Wars, um, there was two Godzillas at the end. There was Godzilla himself and his son, um, Manila, or Minya. Um, so at the end of that, you could make you could make sense of that because even though there was a whole um army of Godzilla before before they got killed by the Mutos and some of them got killed by the Kongs, there was two left during the graphic novels and the movies, which they showed in the in the first monstrous movie, which is the twenty fourteen one, which is Dagon, and then there was Godzilla. So technically, that Godzilla that was in Final Wars could have been Dagon, and his son Minya could have been the twenty fourteen Godzilla. Um, because as I was thinking about this, even though, no, like I said before, like the third time I'm about to say this, even though none of these movies or whatever relate to each other, they all would still make sense in that timeline. So, yeah. But that's all I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that and then show you guys this guy. Um, like I said, pretty cool figure. Looks decent. And yes, I'm going to put a spoiler warning in the title. I'm also going to put it in the beginning of this video so you guys you know, are like not freaking out and everything. But I just wanted to show you guys this figures because I thought it looked pretty cool and interesting. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.